so guys uh, uh, tuambiane tu kweli yani tuambiane tu kweli bila kudanganyana ah uh, watu ambao unaona hapa ni watu ambao wanasafiri wanaenda kazini Saudi Arabia these are people who are traveling to Saudi Arabia na ni sababu ya kazi just because of work watu wengi sana wamekuwa waoga especially sisi wa Afrika chani semivo nita single out East Africa tumekuwa waoga kusafiri sahi ama kusafiri shalala zetu au bibi zetu just because tunasema kwamba wanaenda mahali ambako hawajui na watatauliwa hiyo ni kitu ambacho lazima sahi kwa sasa ambao tuko kwa hii dunia karne hii tukisahau kabisa inategemea vile mtu ambavyo atajiweka so you see these ladies are from uh, Ethiopia oh, wasichana karibu wote a group of 20 people niliona na macho yangu mimi kutoka Ethiopia so watu wengi sana wanajua wanapenda kuona evidence that's why i decided to take the video so that i can come and show you naonyesha kwamba kazi bado ziko kazi bado zinafunguka lakini sasa tatizo ni sisi wenyewe tumekuwa waoga kazi za wasichana i'm talking about ladies who are ziko Saudi Arabia bado mpaka leo tunavongea watu wanasafiri they are traveling to find out yani waka kazi ziko kiukweli kabisa tuache kudanganyana ile kitu kusema sijui hakuna kazi hakuna kazi wako wasichana ambao kwa nazo Afrika Qatar na ni wageni wanafanya kazi wako wasichana ambao wanasafiri Saudi Arabia ni wageni wanafanya kazi una kaa hapo ukidanganywa na watu au ukiambwa sijui hakuna kazi huko sijui nani ni uongo sijui okay ambao aliharibu sijui this is bullshit at all so wale ambao wanataka kutafuta job wakazane waende zao kazini acheni kutafuta acheni kufuata fuata hizi story za uongo kuna story nyingi za uongo mtandao ambao zinaendelea ambazo hazina ukweli wote kabisa ukweli ni kwamba kazi ziko na watu wanaenda kazini kila uchao ukienda kwa airport kwenye ndege utapata kuna msichana ambaye anaenda kazini kitu ambacho sahi wanafanya kwa sababu watu wengi sana wamekuwa janja in a way that mtu anafika airport akishafika airport ile ambayo yuaenda either ni uh, Qatar kama akishafika Qatar pale airport ama Saudi ama Abu Dhabi pale airport wengi sana huwa wanasubirwa na watu wao wa watoroshe sasa hiyo ndio imekuwa kambe kama ni kitu ambayo imefanya watu wengi sasa ambao wanaitisha watu waje wafanye kazi wamejajaruka pia hao sasa wanawavalisha uniform wanawavalisha uniform wakitoa sababu ya kwamba wanasema wanataka waje wapik wakiwa pamoja ili wasipotee lakini the reality ni kwamba wakishavalishwa uniform kama vile kuna special information ambayo inaenda kwa masaidi ama inaenda kwa information ya airport pale ya kwamba this certain group of people ambao wamewaa hivi na hivi na hivi they are supposed to be together kwa sababu wameletwa na mwajiri mmoja ama ofisi fulani na ile shati imeandikwa ile uh, agency number office na kitu kama yote so ukipatikana unasafiri au ukipatikana unatoroka with that kind of dress we chako kwa motoni au upatikana umeingia chooni mfano unafuatiliwa umeingia chooni mfano umefanya janja janja umechange kitu kama kile wanakufuata pia so there's a reason why you are to na uniform kwa sababu once ilikuwa si elewi na alikuwa na kashif sana wajiuliza why should they be given uniform kwa nini wasende tu hivyo hivyo mbona wapo uniform kwani wanakaa kama mbuzi ama kondoo lakini at the last time nilipokuja nikajua that is the reason nikasema it okay kwa sababu ni visanga vingi vishatokea na watu baadhi ya wale watu kidogo ambao wanafanyiwa visanga wanaharibia picha wenzao in a way that uh, inafika time mpaka kazi zinakuwa ngumu kupatikana kwa sababu ya kwamba mtu mmoja au watu wawili wameharibia wenzao of which is not good thing to see it happening at the moment kwa sababu kazi saa hizi zinatafutwa kila uchao my friend i can tell you that nyumbani uh, ni kubaya Afrika kwa jumla kabisa ni kubaya siku nzuri kabisa vile ambavyo ulipeza miaka miwili mitatu iliyopita for sure sasa ukirudi ukiangalia life ime change at all at all at all of course i'm not talking about eating naangalia yale masuala ambayo yanakufanya wewe u survive nyumbani special kama kuna watoto lazima wafundishe lazima wavae lazima wakule eh vitu kama hivyo ukianza kuutwa tu moja baada ya moja kama huna pesa you cannot do anything at all kenya ni ile ile maisha kweli yamepanda sikatai lakini kama una pesa uta survive na kama hauna chochote kwa mfuko my friend there's no way that you can survive in Kenya lazima ungangane upate kile cha kucha mfukoni ndio kikuwezeshe that's all lakini ukisema sasa hii watulia tu hivi ndio ukiambwa kuna kazi imetokea warabuni wasema ah siezi safiri warabuni mimi huku na hivi na hivi na hivi safiri my friend wewe safiri endo kafanya kile kitu ambacho unafanya ukipata mwokoto wako ambaye anakuwezesha kwamba uweze kufungua biashara Kenya toke okay. a lot of people nimeona Kenya wamefunga biashara zao za kawaida tu on life life goes biashara tu ya kawaida ambayo mtu yatilia shilingi 2000 kwa mwaka siku ati ya faida 300 500 life ni asonga tu hivyo na mtu na family so watu wengi sana wanasema ukishakimbia Kenya kwa nchi nyingine huwa umeogopa maisha 
usiogope maneno ya watu kwa sababu once ukiosikiza unajua uta fail na ukisha fail there's no way that utawafuata task moja utamuomba chakula au utamwambia mtoto wako mfukuzi wa shule my friend wone kama kama atakupia hiyo pesa ya kuwa ya, ya kwenda alipi ya mtoto wako kule shule hii mtoto wako endelee kusoma watakucheka hata labda au wataweza kusema asi ah, haya fanye kazi au sio lakini leo ukisema watakuwa msafiri wa Saudi Arabia wewe ni mwanamke labda atakujituma wataanza kukwambia siji ho umeshindwa na maisha umechoka na maisha ya Kenya ume oh, they'll talk a lot of things ambazo they have no any reason yani so i'm here to tell you that usiogope bora kwa medical fit una kazi hata za bure za madem available kila wakati daily zinasubiria tu wewe na passport yako uende pale uka regist na baada ya less than a month ma training na nini usafiri wende zako bora ukisafiri kwa mvumilivu kwa sababu kuna nzuri na baya ukipata baya shukuru usema alhamdulillah upambane nayo mpaka kule utakapotoboa ukipata nzuri pia shukuru usema alhamdulillah ukipata chance ya kuvuta mwanzo wako mvute kwa sababu that's the only way that we can improve our lives at the moment so and this is KG chipendi guys please make sure you subscribe like and share the video